Hello everyone and welcome to our new video where today we are going to be checking out the top 5 best dash cams. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I've tried to keep them on the middle price range so everyone can afford them. You can find links to all these dash cams down in the description and also the comment section. So if you want you can go check them out. Ok so let's start with the list. At number 5 we have the Falcon Zero F170 HD Plus. Which uh, this camera, uh, this dash cam is a very good dash cam that has a lot of features and isn't that expensive compared to some dash cams. It has full HD 1920 by uh, 1080 recording at 30 frames per second, and it will start recording automatically as soon as your car starts to move, so nothing will be missed. Another thing I like about this is that it will start recording if it detects any motion while you are parked. So if someone tries to steal your car or do something to it, it will record everything. It has an angle of 170 degrees so you can see the most of the sides of the car. It, it, it also has night vision so you can use it even on the night. Overall it's a great camera that is not very expensive and gets the job done well. Moving on at number 4 we have the Teotronics dash cam. The Teotronics dash cam is very similar to the Falcon Zero. It can record full HD 1920 by 1080 video at 30 frames per second and has a recording angle of 150 degrees. It features a 2.7 inch color LCD screen from which you can control everything and the thing I mostly like about this camera is that it does not record in the fisheye or curly images like most wide angle cameras do. This camera will show everything in its natural form. Night vision is very good on this camera too so you can go and go for a drive in the middle of the night and if something happens this dash cam will record everything. At number 3 we have the Rexing V1. Rexing is a company which provides only which produces only dash cams as of now and their Rexing V1 camera has received a lot of good feedback because it has a lot of features and is very high quality. It can record 1080p full HD videos at 30 frames per second and the video quality looks amazing. It has a 6 layer glass lens and a 170 degree recording angle so it can capture the whole row. The Rexing V1 has the loop recording system in which you uh, have the option to record vid videos in loops of 3, 5 or 10 minute video files so, if, so it saves when something goes wrong on the road. Overall it's a small and great camera that, get, that gets the job done as it should. And number 2 we have the ZH Z3. The ZH Z3 is one of my favorite cameras because it has a recording quality of 2560 by 1080p at 30 frames per second which makes it the dash cam with the best resolution in this list. It has a 145 degree field of view which is a bit lower than the others but still gets the job done well. It features a color CMOS image sensor and processor which will allow, you to allow it to capture details at a distance easily so you can see license plates and car models easily. It also has a lot of sensors for ignition uh, de de detection, motion detection, crash detection and vibration detection. So basically it has everything you need in a dash cam. And at number 1 we have the Falcon Zero Touch Pro HD. Falcon Zero Touch Pro is the best dash cam in my opinion because it has everything you might want on a dash cam. First of all it has a 4 inch scratch resistant touch screen display on which you can control everything with the tip of your finger easily. It can record 1920 by 1080p at 30 frames per second it, and it has a 170 degree wide angle lens which does not have too much of a fishbowl effect so that's a good thing to know. The Zero Touch Pro HD has a 6 element a spherical glass lens and a 3.0 megapixel CMOS sensor which will make everything visible and clear. Overall this camera is not that expensive, it has very good features and it's pretty durable so if you want a camera that can last you for long term definitely go with a Falcon Zero. Thank you for watching guys, you can find links to this dash cam down in the description below and if this video helped you please leave a like and subscribe it will mean a lot to me and thank you again for watching, I'll see you next time.